Good morning, I'm Marshall. I'm Vivian McGuire. And I'm Raymond Steed. Here are the morning announcements for Thursday, November 10th, 2022. Students, please be sure you're checking your email regularly. Important information is being sent to you daily, and you may miss forms, deadlines, and more if you're not checking your email. If you need help accessing your email, please ask a teacher for assistance. Picture Makeup Day will be on Thursday, November 17th, beginning at 8 a.m. in the Media Center. Any student who was absent for the fall pictures or needs to a retake should plan to attend that day. Order forms will be available on picture day. John Marshall is hosting the annual blood drive on Monday, November 14th. You must be 16 years old or older to participate and weigh at least 110 pounds. If you are interested in donating or have any questions, visit the nursing room in 137. Host students will be around with sign-up forms during both lunch periods. All faculty, staff, and students are encouraged to donate. If you plan to donate, please be sure to stay hydrated and bring your photo ID the day of the event. Students under 18, please remember that you must have a signed permission slip turned into the nursing room 137 to be able to donate. There are several upcoming college open houses, including Marshall University's Green and White Days on Friday, November 11th, and Saturday, November 12th. Young State University Penguin Preview Day on Friday, November 18th. West Virginia Northern Community College Fall Open House on Saturday, November 12th. West Virginia University Institute of Technology on Saturday, November 12th. And Bridgewater College Open House on Saturday, November 12th and Saturday, December 3rd. If you're interested in learning more about or attending any of these events, please visit the counseling office. Now let's take a look at this weekend's events. On Saturday, you can visit the John Marshall FFA and TSA Fall Craft Show. The event will take place from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and will feature ha handmade items, baked goods, local food items, vendors items, items made by JM students in various classes, and more. The show is held on the main floor of the school and will fill the entire hallway and cafeteria. There will also be a full concession stand at the event. Proceeds from the event help support the activities and competitions of JM's FFA and TSA chapters. For a complete list of this week's events, check out the Athletics tab on the John Marshall High School website. Now let's take a look at today's lunch menu. Monarch Lane will be serving General Thurso Chicken while at Pride Alley you can get Asian chicken dumplings. Both lines will offer vegetable fried rice and an egg roll. In the hot sandwich line, you can get a rosemary chicken sandwich, or in the cold sandwich line, you can get a turkey and cheese on croissant. There will also be a pizza variety offered in the pizza line. Today's salad, salad entree will be a buffalo chicken and egg salad. Sides offered today include stir-fried veggies, Brussels sprouts, pineapple tidbits, a fortune cookie, in a salad bar. It's time to celebrate JM faculty and staff. This weekend's birthdays include Miss Jennifer Gunso, who is celebrating a birthday tomorrow, Friday, November 11th, and Mr. Andy Gaudino, who is celebrating a birthday this Sunday, November 13th. If you see them today, be sure to wish them a happy birthday. Thank you for listening to the morning announcements. I'm Evan McGuire. And I'm Raymond Steed. Have a great day, Monarchs.